Well, it's a good morning right here on the Buzz UG. I don't know if it is that side. I just hope that you are doing very well. My name is Melad Milo, aka Fula, and I'm coming to you with the biggest stories right now in the country. In case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. <music> Well, reports in the media this morning indicate that Ronald Alimba, the guy who recently sank Olusuku Luasiminti last night got involved in a nasty accident. Well, it's reported that Ronald Alimba and his team were heading to a place called Semuto for a show. Well, some people are saying that, uh, you know, Ronald Alimba has lost both legs, but we are about to confirm and I'll keep you posted. But the most unfortunate part of it is that Lady Grace, who was in the same car, has died. This is another sad moment for the entertainment industry. Uh, Lady Grace was an artist and uh, she had a couple of good songs. But the one she's most known for is uh, Laira with Eyes on T, a song they released back in 2017. You can search it right here on YouTube if you don't remember the song very well. May her soul rest in peace and a very quick recovery to Ronald Alimba and his team. I have been told that uh, uh, Ronald Alimba's manager is one of the people who are in a very critical condition. Now, after Ugandans on social media decried the abductions going on right now in the country, finally, this matter has been presented on the floor of parliament by the leader of opposition, Right Honorable Mathas Mbuga. Now, Horrible Mbuga says the people who have resurfaced are dumped at police stations, others seen with torture wounds, and all that is done because of their political beliefs. We have reports of, from families of a number of uh, people abducted either from places of work or were laid by people in uniform and ununiformed in the infamous drones. All people are being abducted and kept in communicado. Those who have resurfaced in one way or another, resurfaced, tortured, bruised, others are dumped at police stations. Bako ate walu wangu songa ya gondi ya bia mfuzi, omanyiba na hava singo kwa atu wabu na achu wale, na generale, wogende kita li avaliyo, na vana hababu zidua o, be, wa wagizi. Yes, baba wambi la dala ondele besis, biduwa ni biwa amba. Zi, wa gondi, velu dolu anchuka chuka. Yes, baba wambi la dala ondele besis. Bidroni biwa amba, na mauli da genja ulondo zagala wenga gate kako ebifana nyibi haba na haba wambi wa. Ache siwe nale mo biba wamba, na yaba wakisi ba former presidential candidate Robert Chagulani. Haba ntu wafiba ino kuteba wa political prisoners, haba na wafaba wambi wa. Echa mazima, panda gali ya damu damu kwa ngali. Now horrible Mathas Mbuga has asked government to avail the dead bodies of the missing people if they were killed. However, the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Horrible Thomas Tayewa, revealed that on Friday they're going to have a meeting with the Prime Minister, the Leader of Opposition and other leaders in Parliament on the same issue of abductions in the country. I request that we give the Minister of Security time to come and give a statement. If they are dead, they should declare them dead. Probably avail the bodies for decent burial by their families. On Friday, let us have a meeting. Prime Minister, Rob, Shadow Minister for Security, Government Chief Whip, Opposition Chief Whip. Well, I'll keep you posted right here on the Buzz UG. Now, President Museveni has ordered Major General Charles Okidi to head investigations into how and why two UPDF military choppers have crashed in just three days. Brigadier General Felix Kulaije, the spokesperson of UPDF, finally confirmed that another chopper had crashed in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Well, it should be remembered that Fred Kajubi Lumbuye was the very first person to announce this news on his social media platforms. 
Now, yesterday, Daily Monitor reported that more than a dozen UPDF soldiers perished in that chopper crash that happened in the Democratic Republic of Congo. May their souls rest in peace. Now, Mubende Aradisi, Rosemary Yabashaija, has confirmed six doctors positive after contracting Ebola disease that is spreading so fast in different parts of the country. However, Aradisi says their condition is not that bad. Actually, they are managing it very well. It's also reported that some patients of other diseases have started running away from this hospital where Ebola patients are being managed. Now, Kampala Central Member of Parliament, Honorable Muhammad Isereko, is still trending on social media after attacking the president of NUP, His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, a.k.a. Bobby Wine. Now, Bobby Wine's elder brother, Chairman Nyanzi, has also come against Muhammad Nsereko. In a recent interview with Next Media, Chairman Nyanzi said that Honorable Nsereko should stop thinking that he knows a lot than other people. Nyanzi said that Nsereko is a thug who robbed his victory to parliament. Finally, Chairman Nyanzi also said that when people are deprived of their freedom of speech and expression, the only option they have is violence. Therefore, Sereko looks like he wants to catalyze the eruption of violence in the country. Well, let me leave you with Chairman Nyanzi responding to Muhammad Sereko. But don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fula. It's a bye for now. Thank you. Sereko uh, is becoming a diminishing uh, return to the people of Kampala. A uh, full liability. I know it's going to be a fire, because I'm going to be a force MOP. 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 As long as I'm going to be a force MOP. 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 Echo chivinyo, echo kusatu kwe kubela angalubo nani. Angalubo nani chita gezo muta taina chintu chia nchia nza kukola kuja kebi obo fuzi. Sele kwa abado nga hali ya mbi abo fuzi vyoka. Tairi mulimu gwa hali, gula vikanti hali ago kwa ze gugunu. Ineteka li abu, dizero abu abu fuzi. Ninge itajeti nzibanda abu abu fuzi. Bota ya gala mchisera chino. Nyinga lija kuwata mutabani uo. Na uja kuwa hako hivi nitu vyo gira anga we murugunya. Niko kuwata. This is a law that was adopted by parliament and passed by parliament. We bara ba mukuchiri echa leadership code yogant leader yena haba di convicted ba chijam. Sikiri zigani na mtu aga mantin na mtu atali atali roya taso la kuvela mbia bofuzi na koko la teka ni yambansi balu yaba tu yeye nyonga yera yomu kubo kubi nevi amateka nevi no. Amateka bo agasoma gawe chitiwa na mtu ala mukoti tali nyanga yeye kweka mbadde ndo zatwa ndi muadde katoro wa maneve tuara monsongezo. Abantu abasumi ya mateka sometimes baga kuzisa okunyigiriza abantu Amateka tebaga gubeli angabu gaina kubeli Baga kuzisa okubeli ababi, abakulu pia na abakumpanyi Echile tilo bugunji fukufa kukubanti abantu abakute enkasi Mubiyo kule mbeze Baba baluri nze moroz Kati abana bazali dua gubasu vila kopachi Mpise mbi bazi kopakubali ya baba fugo vuvi Omanyimbi konde wali oje tuganti buli omuba muwa weitie Jaza njira Awo baso machi ne mkwano guangoli kato Baji itachi Mbade ndo oza tuandi muwade katoru wa maneve tuwala monso ongezo Evi ntu evi mu Mtu wabaya ugira ngatade mwefu mitizi Uvuchai inge kumutima Uvuli oli omi Efutua Nye nabye no mtu navireta Ajamwe chigamo choku jerego bujerezi Baba we debate ne kato Kunso ngangazi Audio Jungle